I almost threw up my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Y'all just going to leave him out there like that. You're going to do your boy like that. You're going to do your boy like that, James Tennyson. You ain't going to teach him how to pray on the next funeral line alone. It's a true story. I was making film right yesterday. And the drug dealer said, I won't big said on my film. This is a true story, y'all. I ain't lying. I said, oh, okay, we'll make sure you yeah. have. Make sure you have a good night's sleep the day before, but we're gonna make sure you yeah. have. All right, Romans step 21 said, I find the law when I evil is. All right, what's the next one? Galatians 6 and 9 says, says you don't be. For in due season, you're gonna reap if you and then Matthew 18 20 said, Well, two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst of them. Come on now. Matthew 5 4 says, All right, we live streaming now. How much, y'all? Everybody look at the folder, see if live streaming is on there. One of them folders. You put live streaming on all our folders, made rings with yesterday? I want live streaming on what, you guys? All the folders. What you going to say? Yes or what? No. Yes or no? We got it. How much is it? Yeah, I got this thing, y'all. That's all I'm asking you to do. Some people think it's what? Free. They think it's free, don't they, Carol? Mm -hmm. They just think we automatic do it, but we don't, right? You know why they think we automatic do it? Because we didn't offer it to them doing funeral arrangements. They don't automatically think you give them a limousine, do they? Why not? Because you offered it to them doing, and you told them what? How much it was. How much does limousine go? Same much as, same amount as what? All right, do me a big favor, put your information on the what? Events on the website. Wave at me if you don't know how to do that. Wave, wave your hand, Angela, if you don't know how to do that. Wave your hand, Cedric, if you don't know how to put events on the website. Wave your hand, Cedric. No, I can't see you, definitely. Wave your hand if you don't know how. So I'm going to ask you today to learn how. So it's a handful of people in here that knows how. So stand up if you know how to put a person's picture and information on the website. Stand up if you know how to put a person's picture in information on the website. They know you know how to put a picture and information on the website? Carolyn, do you know how to put a picture of information? Okay, so y'all see how many people that don't know. Raise your hand if you want to be better today. Get better today. These people know they work with you every day. Get them to do what for you today? Go ahead and have a seat. This is how you teach me. Y'all ready? Write this down, write this down. Just send me the notes. Stand back up, you know how to do it. Let me make sure I know who I'm talking to. <clears throat> Listen, I don't have time to sit down with you today. How many bodies we got in the house? Tim, you come here like 3 o'clock in the morning or something. How many bodies in the house? Who, who has the front desk list? How many bodies in the house? 150 bodies. I don't have time to sit down with you at a computer today. Who knows that? And you will say the reason I don't know is because I haven't been taught. And the reason y'all haven't taught them, you won't even take the time. Trina haven't even sent that to her mama yet. You understand what I'm saying? What's the best way to teach what Mr. Beckham has been pushing for the last few days? Come on, media, what I've been pushing. Look at me, Terry. What have I been pushing? Put it in what? Put it in writing. Make it step what? One through whatever it is. It did do what? Send it to you. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I can read and write. And I can comprehend. Just send me the... So one, two, three, four, five. You're not lying to, uh, to me, are you for me? You really know how to do it? So if you're not lying to me, do me a favor tomorrow. Send it to me today, and I'll send it out to the entire staff tomorrow. So tomorrow, the entire staff will know how to do what? How to put a picture and information on the what? Day Ashlyn has to know that, you guys. Because if she doesn't know that, what's going to happen next time she makes arrangements? It's not going to go on there. Not immediately. She's still waiting on Trina to put a picture up. Is that unfair? That Y'all listen, Carolyn has to know that. Because if Carol don't know that when she get through making arrangements like she did yesterday, that person's picture is not on the website. Is that fair to that family? No. Go ahead and have a seat. Let me show y'all how that trickles down. It's unfair to the morgue. So when I'm making film arrangements, somebody make a note. When I'm making mentally or physically, whatever we need to make a note, they ask them. When I make film arrangements, I ask the person in the room to text me the picture. Two reasons. I want their cell number, and I want them to have mine. It's like we get a connection in the room. You'll be surprised. Sometimes three or four people in the room would text me a picture and they're right, Chandra. They get all excited. They're like, what's your cell number? I give them a cell number. And I check this out. I pull up my cell with a loved one's picture on it. And I like to play. So I'll go in there and I'll start cropping stuff. Why are we making rings? I crop it, Carol. And I boom. And I show it back to them. They'd be like, woo, I like that. Everybody bond in the room. Y'all, I immediately have a picture of their loved one. Chandra immediately puts it on the website. Judy. 
Has he ever sent you one of those pictures? Yeah. Then I immediately sent it to the person I think gonna do the body. Because I want them to do the body like this. So it takes away this whole step for the morgue if I do it right. Check this out, Mark. You don't have to do all that craziness if the funeral planners do what they're supposed to do right. All you got to do is look up the person's name and you'll get their what? Their live photo. Not just a live photo, because sometimes you'll take a picture of what's on the front of a program. The front of the program is 20, 30 years old. No, you get the one that's in their phone. The one they took at the last week barbecue. And that's the one you want, right, Mark? Right, everybody better now? How important is it that 80% of my staff don't know how to do it? But tomorrow, what's going to happen, y'all? Who we'll appreciate getting notes this morning, way baby? Sometimes you can't appreciate it until I take it away. Who knows that? Say thank you, Mr. Bay, for bringing it back. Sometimes I got to take the Xbox, put it in the closet. I I'm on the one don't take my Xbox. Y'all too, y'all too old? Come on, Atari, wait a minute, Atari. No, if you know what Atari is, wait a minute. No, okay, you're not old enough. You know anything about table tennis, wait a minute. That's what I'm talking about. Beep, beep, beep. And if you was really good, beep, 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 beep. I don't know nothing about that. Thank you, Mr. Beck. Somebody write down voodoo doll. I'm teaching today. I'm just teaching. That's how you don't know what's on a teacher's mind. Write down voodoo doll. Voodoo. Can anybody know how to spell voodoo? Help me out, assistant. When I used to go to Mardi Gras every year, that was an annual thing for me. I went to Mardi Gras every year with my friends. We get something back to Little City. But a few extra people. And we go to Mardi Gras. <laughs> so every time we went to Mardi Gras, we always went to two places. We would always go to a fortune teller. But we always go to the voodoo queen's house. That was mandatory. We went just to mess with each other, just to see who's really scared. You know, stuff like that. You want to mess with a person's psyche, take them to a psychic. Anybody ever been to a psychic besides me? Ever been to a psychic? That's got to be scary. So anyway, you go to a psychic, they put these cards out on y'all. It's true, so we do it every year. We love it. And we, they would mess with us, and we would mess with them. One time they told my friend that a good uh, person is really close to him is going to die. No, seriously. Like, they put the cards out on them. Dad popped up. Pop! It's like, ooh, somebody don't die. In fact, we laugh. Get, 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 get. Now his mama died when we got back. Oh, wow. Now we know we went back to the voodoo house. <laughs> no, seriously, that's what broke us up from going to the voodoo house. I'm not saying his mom wasn't going to die anyway. Problem. But the, for the voodoo lady to tell it, y'all, seriously, every year for like 20 years, we went to the voodoo house. It was crazy. It was crazy. We weren't scared of the voodoo lady. We thought she was what? She tripping. Y'all, we would actually go in there. Y'all, we would buy stuff from the voodoo people. All the time. Because we weren't scared of no... No voodoo. Voodoo is, come on, spooky, not spiritual. Come on, wave at me, somebody. Christians, wave at me. You can't voodoo me. You can poison me, but you can't voodoo me. Who believe that? You scared. You scared. You scared. You scared. Somebody write that voodoo doll. Now, listen, I'm going to give y'all a voodoo doll, and a voodoo doll is called the CEO. Right now. I want to show you. I want you to, y'all, you can take a piece of paper. You can just make a voodoo doll real fast of your CEO. You can stick it, you can kick it, you can slap him, you can hurt him. You can do anything you want to. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let me show you. Make a voodoo doll. And this is a voodoo doll of your boss, whenever you're ready. If you want to hurt him, red tag a folder. No, write down the voodoo doll. Y'all got my voodoo doll? Put my name on it. Put a little birthmark right there on the right side of his eye. Make sure it's me. Shave his head, because it needs to be me. And if you want to hurt me, just red tag a folder. If you want to watch me lose my mind on a Monday morning, talk about how terrible media is, red tag a folder because it took an hour to get a program ready that the family looked for. Is that right? what happened, Carol? You had to find it yourself? Y'all yeah. want to see me lose my mind on a Monday morning? Just red tag a folder. Y'all write down the voodoo doll? Write down my voodoo doll. Come on now. Y'all know how to get me? I'm giving y'all the voodoo doll. You can piss me off all day, every day. Punch my head like this on the voodoo doll. Do like this. Boom. Just write down a red tag. Make a family mad and make me have to red tag a folder. Y'all, that's just like pushing my voodoo doll. You have complete, y'all have complete control over me. Who knows that? Wait a minute. Y'all don't want to wave back at me. Y'all have complete control over me. Y'all decide if I'm happy. Y'all decide if I'm unhappy. Y'all decide if I have a good day. If I don't. Y'all decide if I sleep at night. How well I sleep at night. Who knows that? Wait a minute. You got my voodoo. <laughs> Look at the door. Say the day I'm gonna punch him in his head. Wait a minute, if that's what he's gonna do to my voodoo dog.
Come on now. Come on, come on. How many of y'all first thought they ain't gonna leave my keys in the car again? Because you're too lazy to come get them from Sandy. Come on now, just punch them in the head. You got the voodoo dog, do it. Do it, do, do it. Come on now, you got the voodoo dog. How many of y'all are not gonna do exactly what I asked you to do? Come on, wait at me Dad. My daughter has a voodoo dog. Because she works for me and I have an unconditional love for her. So if she's disrespectful to me today, what? Just slap the doodle, voodoo dog. Just do it. Pop. I can slap my daddy anytime I want to. Who know I can? Because I have this what? Come on, y'all. Did y'all know y'all have my voodoo dog as an employee here? You can do anything y'all. You can make me extremely happy today. You can take that voodoo dog and do what? Rub it up against your heart. I said, I'm going to make sure I protect him today. I'm going to look out for him. It's going to be okay. You can really do that. Or you can do what with him? You can kick him in his butt. You can stick him with beans. Y'all okay? Good morning, everybody. Anybody have a voodoo doll of you? I bet your daughter got a voodoo doll of you. She controls your emotions. She can make you extremely happy today, or she can make you extremely... Anybody here, wave at me. Somebody got a voodoo doll of you. No, come on, wave at me now. Don't, don't, don't leave me hanging. Sandy, does somebody have a voodoo doll of you? Because I see the way you act somebody sometimes. I know it ain't you. It must have been what? Nothing. The person that was controlling you. Thank you, Mr. Beckwith. I told you I was going to help y'all today. What y'all doing to my voodoo doll right now? What y'all doing to it? <laughs> so I got you, Mr. B. You got me? I'm going to teach today. Is that okay? Because I told y'all yesterday I was tired of teaching y'all. I'm back. Y'all ready? Write this down. <laughs> <coughs> Write this down. Self-employed. <laughs> Self-employed is the word for the day. Thank you, Mr. Bay, for bringing words of the day back. I'm back. Okay. What's the word for the day? Self-employed. Self Thank you, Mr. Bay, for teaching me this. I got you. You ready? Working for oneself as a freelancer or the owner of a business. Working for yourself as a what? Freelancer. Or a owner, owner of a business. rather than for an employer. That's the Webster Dictionary definition of a Self-employed. Self Carolyn is self-employed. Who knows that? Mm -hmm. No, if you don't know that, there's something wrong with you. Like for real, she's really what you guys? She really works for her self. self. And she is the owner. And what else you guys? She does not have an employer. She just don't have one. Everybody got it? She is it. Who knows that? She is what? Self-employed. Self now raise your hand if you're self-employed and go to get it. She's it. Everybody got it? I just want to make sure you got a good definition. This is what, it, this is what Webster goes on to say this in the B clause. Relating to are designed for people working for themselves. So none of you say it that you work for yourself at Golden Gate Funeral Home. Not one person except for her raised their hand and said what? I work for myself. Mr. Becker, what are you teaching us today? Sound like you setting me up. You got my voodoo, dog. You decide how what I think. <laughs> Who rubbing my temples right now? Who? No, seriously. Who's rubbing my temples? Say, come on, John, teach me. You got the voodoo, dog. Which one of y'all punching me right now? Say, I hope you don't get it out. I hope you mess it up. I hope you cuss. Mm -hmm. Come on. Who? What y'all doing with the voodoo, dog, right now? Let's find out. Let's go. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. That was the Webster dictionary. Let me give you the ebonics. Who's ready for the ebonics? <laughs> I, y'all ready? <laughs> May not do it when you want me to. <laughs> Come on, right down there. Come on, right down to this <laughs> I may not do it the way you want me to. <laughs> but I get the job done. That makes you self-employed. You didn't even know that meant that, did you? See, I'll tell you to write in Ricky documents when to do it, how to do it, and you'll tell me when you're going to do it. You'll tell me how you're going to do it. You'll tell me, stop messing with me. I'm going to get it done. That means you must be self-employed. <laughs> See, I'll tell you, you have to document in cremation log. And you'll tell me what? See, I got a, I got a pad over here I write on. And I'm going to document what? When I feel like it. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Come on. When, when what? And I'm going to do it the way I want to do. That's self-employed, Ebonics. You don't work for somebody and then tell them when you're going to do it, how you're going to do something. Right. Who knows that? Thank you, Mr. Beckworth. Y'all rubbing my temples, aren't you? Who, who got my voodoo dog right now? Who in here thought they were self-employed? 
Who acts like they were self-employed yesterday? Oh, y'all don't know who I'm talking to. Cynthia, let me help you. When you go to an employee and you're their manager and they talk back to you, they must be self-employed. Because you told them to do something when? Right now. And then they told you what? They're going to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And then they'll turn around and tell you, leave me alone, I'm doing my job. You must be self-employed. Because the person you work for tells you to do something, you don't decide when you do it. And you don't get to decide how you do it. When you start doing that, Vern, is you're self-employed. Thank you, Mr. Y'all rub my temples, right? Am I rubbing y'all's? Do I have your voodoo doll up here? Raise your hand if you've been treating me like you're self-employed. Don't lie to me, Chantrell. I'm going to ask you again. When you tell me what time you come to work, and when you tell me what time you get off, you're self-employed. Y'all rubbing my temples. I'm trying to rub yours. Wait a wait, minute. Wait, wait my voodoo doll in me. <laughs> I know I'm teaching. You ain't told your supervisor what day you're going to work. You told her what time you're going to get here. You told her what time you're going to leave. Raise your hand if you get a 1099 here. Y'all, that's the only people that can do that. That means you get a 1099. That means you're a contract worker. That means you don't work for the funeral home. You're not on schedule. We just have an agreement. A dump in two employee is on schedule. And you must follow the schedule of the business. Mm -hmm. And you're scheduled according to the business needs, not yours. Mm -hmm. I know why you was acting like that, because you didn't know the definition of self-employed. I know some of y'all look at me right now because you're self-employed, but you don't understand what comes with self-employed. Mm -hmm. You got to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. You rub my temple, aren't you? Mm -hmm. How much was mortgage last week? Mm -hmm. You don't know because you're not self-employed. How much was taxes last week? You don't know because you're not self-employed. How much was payroll last week? You don't know because you're not self-employed. Stop acting like what you're not. You want to be self-employed, but you don't want any responsibility that comes with being self-employed. You want to work for somebody, but you want to do what you want to do when you want to do it. It doesn't work that way. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for the lecture today. You're welcome. I didn't give y'all one yesterday. I thought I'd better teach today. Who's better already? Some of you didn't even wait there. <laughs> Did I bust your bubble? <laughs> so the next time you say something to Cynthia, I want her to just say this back to you. You must be self-employed. Uh -huh. Next time you say something to Sandy again, open your mouth again when she tells you to do something. The only thing I want her to reply to you is what? Y'all, this is going to trip y'all. Self-employed pay themselves. Say again what you're going to do, when you're going to do it. That means we got an understanding. You just became a 1099. You and I got a great understanding. You're now what? I still ain't got it. Go home, John. I'm on the way home. You guys, listen. There is some mortuary services that are self-employed. I can contract with them to pick up bodies, Vertis, but I don't have to pay them every Thursday. I just pay them what? No, according to the contract they and I have. Did you get that? They can do anything they want, but they don't get to drive my car. They don't get to stop by my gas station. I don't pay the insurance on that car. I don't pay the note on that car. I don't pay the maintenance on that car. When you wreck it, you pay for it because it's your car. Y'all, that's a self-employed person. You can't treat my car in any kind of way, call yourself self-employed and pay no note on it. Still ain't got it. Media, listen to me, media. You don't make programs the way you want to. Right. Yeah, there is a printing company out there. We use it sometimes. What's it called? Keep Keep Y'all, I don't ever pay the note on their printer. I don't pay the maintenance. I don't buy, come on, you guys, pay. ink. Pay. I don't pay their employees. We just have an agreement. You make a program, I pay you for the program. We just have an understanding. But you can't work for me. Do what you want to do when you want to do it, not the way I'm telling you to do it. And you don't pay the print. You don't even pay the ink. You don't pay for nothing here, but you're going to do what you want to do when you want to do it. And have a nerve to say I'm working. You must be self. You must have your own greeting company. Who got their own greeting company, greeters? Because you don't have to keep up with people if you have your own greeting. 
You don't have to tell me who's in room number one if you have your own greeting company. Did you know that? Y'all okay? Anybody get this besides me? Who better already? Wave it. Oh, I'm teaching. Who got my voodoo dog? Y'all got my voodoo dog? Y'all making me sweat. Who put that heat up? Who blowing your hot breath on my voodoo dog right now? <laughs> he said, I didn't bring because he don't preach no more, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm ready, y'all. Who ready? How do I avoid red tags? And management and staff frustration. That's the question. For how do I, what, you guys? So I, I remember this. Follow the system. That's it. The staff should never get frustrated working here. Everybody wants to work in a good working. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, the boss wants to work there too. Stop giving me a hard time when I ask you to do something. I want a good working environment too. See if you want a good working environment too. Sandy deserves a good working environment too. Just like you deserve one, they want one too. Is that okay? Can we be, come on y'all, what we learned yesterday? Can okay, reciprocal? Can we learn that yesterday? I give a little, you what? You want to be treated right? Treat me right. I want you to do your job. Come on, y'all. Help me do mine. You want me to help you do yours? Help me do mine. I just happen to be the manager. I just happen to be the supervisor. I just happen to be the... Can we all have a good working environment? How, how, do we, how do we secure that? How do we make sure everybody has a good working environment? Go. Follow the system. Y'all, the managers have a job, too. Supervisors have a job, too. Carol got a job. I got a job. Are we following the system? That's going to be important that you know that. And was I here at 8 o'clock? Because you need to be here before 8, too. If I'm here before 8, is the first time did you be here before 8? No, no, seriously, is that fair? I'm not going to ask you to do what? Come on, Michael Jordan. I'm never going to ask you to work harder than I do. Never. I'm never going to ask you to prepare more than I prepare. Never. I'm never going to ask you that. I'm always going to put my 100 in. But I'm going to ask you. Oh, y'all know nothing about buying that stuff together. <laughs> Raise your hand if you ever bought something with somebody else. I'm not going to go there illegally. <laughs> but you got to put your, your part in if you want to puff, puff, pass. <laughs> Every now and then say something as a leader to make them. All right, y'all. What am I going to ask of my more so I don't get frustrated today and what? I wrote it down for you, Steve. Can you read it back to me? I'm going to ask you, number one, to give me a what? Before a photo. Number two, I'm going to ask you what, Gary? Give me a live photo. Number three, I'm going to ask you to give me a what? I won't get frustrated, and I swear you won't either. I promise you, neither one of us will get frustrated if you do that. Media, what I'm going to ask you today? Who's proofing? I promise you, if you can answer who's proofing, I won't get frustrated today. I won't mess with your voodoo doll and stop messing with mine. Oh, y'all didn't get it, did you? If you can tell me, what you guys, how many mistakes got passed when? Got past the department. I need to know that so that I can do what with the department? Make some adjustments. Meaning if it got past my department, I might need to put somebody else in the, that can prove better. And how many made it to my peers? These are the peers. And then how many actually got past my department and past my, and made it all the way to the, did everybody see why that system is in place? So that no, come on you guys, no folder ever gets red tag. And he doesn't lose his, and I don't make a bad environment for you. Oh, somebody gonna get it in a minute. You thought when they made one voodoo doll, they stopped making them. Oh, you thought because you had mine, I didn't make one of you. Oh, I got you, your nappy hair and all. Oh, I got you with the three stomachs and all. Oh, I got oh I got one up here right now with you on it too, baby. And I oh I'll stick you every now and then. Who know I'll stick you every now and then? <laughs> he back. Finance. Come on, y'all go to finance. Finance. What am I asking to finance? Y'all sure? I got your voodoo doll over here. You gonna have a bad day? I'll make you sick. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Immediate what? Documentation. Immediate documentation. As soon as somebody pays, you got to document that it's paid three ways. Go. Come on. What else? And immediately. Y'all, not tomorrow. Not when you want to self-employed person. Immediately. <laughs> Y'all still ain't got that, right? When a family call and say, how much is paid? Have they paid? Y'all, we don't ever go to a family and ask for money when they've already... 
And we wouldn't do that if we did what? When? Immediate. Not at your convenience. When? Oh, it, it works. It works, Mr. Beckwith. Get off my voodoo dog. Okay, here we go. Death certificates. I swear this works. Document what, you guys? I can't hear you. And what else? Y'all, I promise this thing works. If you document the I got three calls yesterday by death certificates in my office. Even though I pay somebody to call families, they still call me. You guys, I can't answer them if I can't go to the law. Whatever you did, just put it in the so I can look to see what you did so I can tell the family. It should take about two seconds for me to answer the family. I said, what's your loved one's name? They'll tell me. And Cedric, then I'll say, what day they got? And then I just pop, 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 and boom, go to the notes. And I tell them, listen, y'all, that's just how it works. If you're not self-employed, you're not doing what you want to do. Mr. Beck will keep teaching. I got you. I got about another minute. Y'all ready? What about greeting receptions? Come on. Just, just communicate one with I love this yesterday one of my greeters came back from a break I asked her I said who's in room one she couldn't even tell me I said why you can't tell me who's in room number one this is what she said I just came back when you get back communicate don't leave y'all without telling the person what they when they get back tell them whatever come on greeters the only reason you exist is to tell me what where everyone is I come to you to ask you who's in one so I don't walk in and Y'all got to get this. You got to get this. I can't walk in the wrong room with the wrong information. Y'all, I can't knock on somebody's door while they're making arrangements for their mama and walk in and sound stupid as the owner of the funeral home. I can't walk in there and do that. I can't walk in the door and say, I'm looking for Brenda. And it's Mr. Hill in the room. Y'all, I just can't do that. I can't walk in with the wrong family member. You guys, what did they say about the entire company? And greeters, that's your fault. You got to know who's in that room. And you got to tell me who's with them. You have to know that every time. Y'all walked in two rooms yesterday that I was in the wrong room. Two. Because the greeter what? And I would look at the reception and say, who's in the room? And they would look back at me. Uh, Tallulah, and then guess what they'll say? Y'all, you want to see him? I don't know. Why do you exist? Oh, I got it. You self-employed. You decide when you want to know who's in a room. And you decide when you want to keep up with it. And you decide when you want to communicate. But if you work for me, come on, let's go back there. Let's go back. If you work for me, you're going to know what? Come on, read it, y'all. You're going to know what a deceased person is. You're going to know who's in each arrangement office. And you're going to know, come on, you guys, who's in the admin office. You're going to know what? Who's up next? Who's going to wait on the family? And know which room they're going in. You're going to have to know that if you work for me. Now, if you're self-employed, you can do what? Anything you want, when? Whenever. Whenever you want to. Tonight now. All right, everybody ready for that admin? Am I still teaching this morning? Yeah. Good, that's right now. So when administration office become an arrangement office, you lose your personal space. I had a person eating a hot dog yesterday while the family was making arrangements. No, seriously, in the same room. I had a manager fussing at the employee in the same room where her family was. She called it a teaching moment. Now, <laughs> I still ain't got it yet. Right now. When a family walk in the room, you lose your, come on, write this down. Y'all didn't write it down. What you doing in the admin? It's no longer an admin office. It's no longer your cubicle. It now became a, come on, write this down. Come on, come on. Don't make me have to punch your uh, 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 voodoo doll right now. Just write it down. Soon as a family walk in the room, the room changes to an arrangement office. You got to get out of there. You sure got to shut up or help me. You lose your per okay. Teach Mr. Beckwith. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Anybody heard of Air Force One? Yes, yeah. What's Air Force One? I didn't hear y'all. Y'all think it's an airplane, don't you? It's not. Air Force One is not an airplane. Air Force One says any plane that the president step on. Oh, you got to get that. You thought it was a certain airplane, didn't you? It's not. If he got on American Airlines today, guess what it becomes? Who knows that way, baby? Now you know. So if somebody else ever asked you that again, now you know the answer. Whatever Trump gets on is called what? Air Force One. He gets on a helicopter, it's called what? Marine One. Marine One. There you go, Cap. Whatever helicopter you get on. 
If he go to Redbird Mall, he get on a helicopter. It becomes Marine One. If he go to American Airlines and he get on the South, he go to Love Field and get on the Southwest Airlines. It's called what? As soon as he step on, it's now called who knows that, y'all? Now you know. If a family walk in a room, it's now called a arrangement office. It's no longer your cube uncle. Get out of there. It ain't yours no more. If we out of room and there's a family in the admin, it's no longer your admin. You can't walk in a death, death call, people. It's a, come on, y'all go. It's an arrangement office now. It's no longer your cubicle. It's no longer your computer. It's no longer your nothing. Don't you step over somebody in an arrangement office? Why would you do that? Greeters, it's your fault because you let them walk in on me. Greeters, what should, what should you do? Come on, Secret Service. Come on. C call a greeter, Secret Service, for a second. Go. Come on, say it, say it. Say, greeters, you are the. Don't let them walk in on a family. Let me say it again. Greeters, don't do what? So if there's a family in room one, another family try to walk in room one, what would you say? Stop. There's a family in there. What if another film director try to walk in room one? What would you say? Stop. There's a family in there. What if an employee try to walk inside the admin office and there's a family there? You're going to say what? Stop. There's a No, you don't get to bring your food in here. There's a It's no longer an admin. It's now a Who's better already? Oh, I got your voodoo dog right here. I'm rubbing. Thank you, Mr. Beck, for coming back. I think we're going to be okay, yeah. Several people walked over him. And this is what the lady said to the manager. None of them will wait on me. Now there was four people in the room with him. She was just as confused because she didn't understand why she's sitting in the room and four other people in the room and the manager had to go fuss at somebody to wait on her. And they went back and forth <coughs> in front of the family. And I love it because the other people that was in the room was just watching. Like they were at the movies. And nobody's still not waiting on her. Who better already now? Y'all just punched my voodoo dog, didn't you? That's what happened yesterday. They punched my what? <laughs> they punched my voodoo dog. Did that make Mr. Beckwith unhappy? Yes, film 101 whenever you're ready. You guys, we have caskets that we order. This is a major deal for this is, anybody want to trip off the number? I want y'all to go to your calculator on your phone real fast. So the average casket, an average, we do averages of uh, caskets, the average cost of a casket at Golden Gate Fear Home is $700. Not what we sell it for. So that means the least expensive casket I buy all the way up to the most expensive caskets I buy. On the average, I pay $700 per casket on an average. Who knows that numbers are important? Take 700 and times it. Come on, y'all ready? 1,500. I can't hear you. Say it again. Now check this out. That's just on burials. We spend one million and fifty dollars on burial caskets. Y'all hear me? That's how much we put in a ground worth of caskets. Y'all ready? Half of our cremations are rental caskets. Did y'all know that? So we bury, a, I mean, we cremate about a thousand people a year. Who knows if we do that? Last year we did 1,111. Y'all about 500 of them or what? Rental, rental caskets. On an average, whenever y'all ready, y'all tell me when you're ready. It's $460 on an average on rental caskets. Come on, add them. 460 times 500. So I have spent over 1 million on burying caskets every year. And I spent another what? Just on rental caskets. A year in 12 months. Y'all, we can't get that wrong. We can't scratch them up. We can't throw them up on top of their end without something underneath them. We can't do that. Not with, we're spending, <clears throat> who knew that we were spending 1.3 billion a year on caskets? Wait a minute. None of you even knew, did you? You had no idea how much that actually cost us. 1.3 
million a year cast on y'all. Nothing else but caskets. Y'all think we need to know what we're doing when it comes to caskets? You need to, we need to treat them like $1.3 million worth of them? Y'all, that's just on an average. All right, let's go. Whenever y'all ready. So this is who we are our cast from. It's four people. International, Matthews, BMX, and Basel. I gave each one of y'all what? The number. Okay, good. And then I told you who to call for each casket. So you saw the Eileen Beckwith package or John C. package. Y'all see that on there? This is for your notes. They just tell you which company to call. If you sell that uh, uh, 995, which casket? That's that steel package. Then there's a bronze package. And then there's a silver, gold, stainless, copper, millennium permit. It tells you exactly who to call. Everybody got it? Yeah. Okay, good. So we don't have any misunderstandings on who to call. And y'all can't be wasteful. Not when it's $1.3 million involved. Yeah. Now, check this out. $1.3 million a year. How many of y'all think I have in stock right now that I'm not even using? No, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all real people. Come on, you got your voodoo doll out? Let's take an average. I think it's 60 caskets in the back. On an average of how much I think it costs? I can't hear you. $700. Just go ahead and do it for me. I can't hear you. 60 caskets in the back. That's not even been used. How much? There's $42,000 in the room right now that's not even being used. You think we need to be more mindful of that? That scratched up. That we broke bringing a cast a body out. That we just set up on the end because I was being lazy when I unloaded it from the truck. Because I didn't put wheels underneath it. Anybody better today? Anybody got their voodoo doll massaged a little bit today? Are we going to be better at that, staff? Yes or no? Yes. All right, listen, when you show a casket to the person, you go to goldengatefunerhome.com. Remember, that's BMX's, who's? Website. Even though you're going to order it from who? International. You might even order it from Matthews. You might even order it from Baseville. But you remember what you're showing is what? You're showing BMX casket. Everybody understand that, right? Okay, good. If not, you got to read that for you. And then what are we going to start working on at the bottom? Inventory. What else, you guys? There you go. Y'all got this. Now, who better already? Wait a minute. Okay, good. I got a 9 o'clock here in the chapel, girl. We got to go in four minutes. All right, let's go. I'm done. Everybody go to your respectful places. Let's see, make sure we got everybody. Fisher's gone. Ronnie's gone.